lovers, it's Sarah, and it is time for another Terrific Tuesday Challenge over on the Scrappy Moms blog. I will put a link down in the description box so you can play around, play along and hopefully win some fabulous Scrappy Mom stamps. This time the theme is Hit the Beach, so anything beach theme will work. Card, scrapbook page, 3D project. I am making a card today, and it's actually a card that I made for a Hawaiian-themed wedding. So, um... The sentiment that I'm using today is a little bit different than the sentiment, or is different from the sentiment that I used on the card for the challenge, because that was the card that I made for the wedding. Anyways, so I took a piece of paper tray ink white cardstock that was five and a half by eleven, scored it in the middle at five and a half, so you get a five and a half by five and a half square card. And in case you do not know, um, these square cards, like five inches or bigger, you do have to put an extra stamp on there if you're mailing, just so you know. Okay, so we're going to start with a piece of like kind of aqua colored cardstock that is five and three eighths by five and three eighths. And I took a piece of craft cardstock and it was about, it was probably about two and a half inches when I started and I just tore some of the the top part off here and this is also five and three eighths wide and that's going to go down here at the bottom to give you the look of sand before I tear it down I am going to use some Jenny Bolin brown sugar ink and I'm just going to ink up the top of my sand hill just to give it a little bit more definition from the blue paper, okay? All right, so I can go ahead and hear this down. Apologize if I have shadows. So this is gonna go right down at the bottom of my blue sky. And then I can go ahead and hear this down to my white card base. Okay, so there's the base of my card. The next thing I have, and I use the um, Cricut Life as a Beach cartridge for this. The next thing that I have are my little palm trees, and they can be found on page 40 of the handbook, and I cut them at 4.75. I cut the base out of this same craft card stock, and then I just took that Jenny Bolin ink and just um, daubed it onto the branches or the trunks. You could use brown cardstock if you want. It just gives it kind of a different look. And then I cut the um, trees out of two different color green. And this is going to go on our card right about here. But before I tear it down, I have got some Baker's Twine here. And I am going to tie this around carefully around our little trunk here. And I actually want to come this way. I'm making like a little clothesline coming off of this palm tree. I'm just carefully just tying it on there. And then I'm going to, ah, <laughs> stuck to my finger. I have adhesive stuck on me. Okay, I'm going to trim this off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and before I tear this down, I'm going to stamp my sentiment just to make sure I get it in the right spot. I'm using a sentiment from the Scrappy Mom set Sunkissed. This is the perfect stamp set for summer cards and they can be, um, an, you know, used for all occasion cards that you're just letting somebody know you're thinking about them or just if you're sending them a thank you or anything like that. The sentiment I'm using is Life's, Life's a Beach and I'm stamping it with that same Jenny Bolin brown sugar ink. And my sentiment is going to go right down here in the sand. All right, so now we can go ahead and adhere down our tree. And I'm just going to use my Zig 2-Way glue pen, just work kind of quickly on it. 
and I'm dabbing it when I have a lot of surface to cover um, I dab it because it does dry quickly so this gives you a little bit more time before it starts to dry So I'm just going to press my tree down. Okay, now to adhere my close line down, I am going to use a small glue dot. kind of try to roll it a little bit because this, even though it's small, it's still a little bit too big. Just roll it between my fingers. Okay, so I want the close line to kind of come up a little bit and come down like that, like it's kind of blowing in the wind. So I'm just going to put my little glue dot down and then just stick my twine on it. And my, um, I'm going to have something there, so it's going to pretty much cover that glue dot. Okay, so I'll trim that off. Okay, so I've got some swim trunks. And these were found on page 62 of the cartridge, and I cut them at 1.25. And then this layer here, which are the, like, stripes on the trunk, for whatever reason, when I cut them at the same size for the trunks, they were cutting out too small. I don't know if there's a glitch in my cartridge or my Cricut or whatever, but I ended up having to cut the um, stripes at 1.5 to get them to fit on my trunk. So I don't know if that's on everybody's cartridge or if it was just mine. So I just thought I'd pass that information along just in case it was a glitch. I poked two holes right there on the trunks and then I tied some let's see that's called denim denim baker's twine through it just to make it look like the trunks are tied and this baker's twine can also be purchased on the scrappy mom's blog I have my little bikini top that I got on page 63 of that cartridge and I cut it at two inches in two different shades of pink and then I used some pink sorbet baker's twine to make a little bow. It's kind of going to hang right there. I'm just pressing that down really good. And then here's my bikini bottom. And I tied two little bows on there. And my bikini bottom is going to hang right there. And I have a little iridescent bling from Michaels. And let's see. I'm going to put that right in the middle of my bikini just for fun. Okay, now I have two of these little, I believe they're called hibiscus flowers. They're from page 34, and I cut them at one inch, and they're just going to go down here by my sentiment. And that's our card. Super simple, super cute little beach theme card. The sentiment that I used for the wedding card, I got from the Scrappy Mom set Sweet Something. 
and it was this sentiment right here, all because two people fell in love. Just to give you an idea what I did for the wedding card. Okay, so that's my card for today. Hope you can play along in the challenge. Thanks everybody for watching, and have a blessed day.